Hello everyone, I am Elio and today I am bringing you the final part of my challenge completing Dark Souls 3 with only thighs. Let's not waste any more time and let's continue. And then we're teleported back to the Lothric castle. Now with three of the lords defeated, it is time we take care of the final one. But before that, we have to fight the dancer of the Boreal Valley. I mean, there is a lot of people from the Boreal Valley in this game. Either way, this fight, uh, while it may look kind of difficult, is actually not. All we have to do is is keep our shield up and hit that booty and once you go to the second phase all we have to do is stay behind a column and then we proceed to keep doing the same thing i lost a few times three to be precise but we continue to fight and we finally beat her on the fourth try With that done and with all the souls that we have collected so far, I go back to the Firelink Shrine, sell a few of the boss souls and the souls that we have found along the way. I get uh, about the dancer's armor, get some new drip. I level up my vigor, my dexterity, and now my intelligence. Because uh, the sister phrase ties do more damage depending on the dexterity and the intelligence. I go back to the dancers of the Boreal Valley bonfire, put the ball in the statue, run all the way and skip all the enemies in the castle, take the bonfire, kill the two dragons that are uh, kill the two dragons, open a shortcut and look for a place for a nice thumbnail that looks good, nice, perfect. And we go after our next boss, the dragon slayer armor. To be honest, this fight is not that uh, hard. Uh, this guy is really, really, really slow, so it's easy to dodge his attacker. The problem is uh, that if he hits you, he does a lot of damage. Uh, not only that, but this guy is not the only enemy you're going to be fighting. You're also going to be fighting the sky. Why? This is Dark Souls 3, that's why. We beat him without a problem. And with all those souls, it was time for us to get a few levels. After beating Dragon Slayer, I commit one of the biggest mistakes of this run. You see, uh, I noticed that I wasn't doing a lot of damage uh, because the frost wasn't building up that fast. So what I tried to do was <laughs> was get some fire bombs in order to uh, do more frost damage. That will become that will be a big mistake in the future. But for now. Our other problem was that we weren't doing a lot of damage, so this is where farming some scales begin. I ran around Lodric Castle, which I found a lot of scale titanites, and then I went to the dungeon to get a few more. With that done, I was able to upgrade my weapon to level 4 and then to level 5 thanks to the titanite slab from the freight fight. So that our weapon was officially doing a total of 614 damage, we were now ready to take on the last lord boss of the game. And so I went to the library, skip uh, run past all the enemies, nothing interesting happened here, except that I fought the mini boss from here, the crystal mage, something like that. I keep running until I open a shortcut, take the bonfire, and now we were ready to take on the last lord of the game, Lorian the Elder Prince. Elder Prince, huh? Elden Prince, Elden Ring. That's interesting. <laughs> Either way, uh, you may think that this fight will be easy since I was able to take on Frey on the first try. But no, uh, <laughs> they, I got beaten a few times. That and I realized one of the mistakes that I did before. You see, I bought a ton of fire bombs. I spent a lot of souls doing that. Only to find out that fire bombs damage enemies. Why did I buy fire bombs? You see, the reason why I bought fire bombs was to reset the frost uh, damage cooldown. In that way, I'll be able to do more frost damage and I should be able to do more damage to enemies. The problem was that fire bombs damage enemies. I mean, it's not a lot of damage, but it damage enemies, and that's against the uh, that's against the challenge rules. I cannot damage enemies with, I can only damage enemies with thighs. So, uh, I mean, I bought 200 and something of bombs 
uh, just to waste them, just to waste some money. Doesn't matter either way. It took us a few tries to take on the Lorian Elder Prince and his brother or sister, I don't know what the... But eventually, we win. And whew, this was one of the hardest fights in the game. Took me a few tries, but now we were ready. We beat uh, the four lords. It was now time to go to the final boss of the game. Now I level up my attributes, I talk to the firekeeper, and we get this amazing cinematic. We're now teleported to the last boss, and whew, let me tell you, I mean, you all think this fight will be easy since I beat uh, Sister Frey on my first try. But no, I struggle a lot with this fight. I fail a lot, a lot of times, to the point that I even had to change my armor uh, to be more effective. So I, I didn't, I didn't took a lot of damage. It took me a lot of time, too many tries to be honest. At what point I was so happy that I finally beat him. until I realized that he had a second phase. Either way, we don't give up and we keep trying. I keep failing a few times. But eventually, we got him, we beat him, it is official, we have beaten the game with only sight. I put on a new armor to get a, to get some new drip and probably to get some nice thumbnail for the video. And now we go to the last bonfire, summon the fire lady, and this is the ending of the game. Can will you beat Dar uh, can you beat Dark Souls 3 with only thighs? Yes, you can. Technically. Uh, like we said in the beginning, <laughs> we have to make a few exceptions for two enemies of the game. But overall, yes, it's possible. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a like. Uh, if you want to see more of my content, subscribe. I'm going to be doing more challenge rounds in the future for uh, Dark Souls 3. But let me know in the comments what other challenge would you like me to do. And with that being said, uh, adios.